Let me call two people. Who won't be afraid of others. Before I pray with you. Who want to tell me they were not honest because of this. Just, just bring a mic. Listen to them before I pray with you. Did I have a problem? I have a spirit of lust and it troubles me a lot. You can hear this lady now. <laughs> you can hear that lady. <laughs> and God touched her. She said, I've got a spirit of lust and it <laughs> troubled me a lot. The spirit of lust, when someone passes, you look. You've got four eyes. Other ones are here. The real one I, the wrong ones are here. You are always thinking. In the flesh. You think flesh. So, by doing this, God is delivering it. Let me get another one. Yes, uh, Apostle. I confess I have been preaching the word of God by the grace of God. But I have been smoking, addicted to ganja. I used to smoke drugs, but I still held on to ganja and cigarettes and I did not fight to let go. I just carried on with it. Can you hear that? This man, he said he has been preaching. Do you know the scripture that says, many people will say, we have Prophesy in your name. Deliver people in your name. And there's this issue of ganja. I'm very happy for him. For this brother. Ganja. I'm very, very happy. Many people cannot come out but and say this thing. Brother, where were you preaching? I was I started preaching in prison, but now I, there's a branch, a church, that God began in Masibegela, in Pumalang. And people that don't know anything? Uh, it's only a few that know. There's a time when I confessed in the church and I asked for prayers. But since people want help and they don't care about holiness, they just don't care. They just want prayers and prayers and prayers. But inside me, it eats me because I keep on asking for forgiveness for something I don't want to let go. Because when sin is in you, it's no longer you who live. It's a sin now that dominates and makes you to do, even when you are crying to stop, you find yourself doing it. Paul spoke about this thing. Stand here, my brother. I'll pray for you. Look at me. In Jesus' name. Come on! Jesus' name. Ouch! Ouch! Look here. Jesus, mighty name. You are free. You will never smoke again. <laughs> Let me get on. Listen, there are many other things there. You have been afraid to tell people. Because what are they going to say? Think about, let's talk about abortion. I don't really like abortion. You did abortion and you can't get a child now. You know, so you know, one. And you can't confess it. You are, you, are, you, are getting, you are trying to get a child. You are doing everything. You are exercising to get a child. You go and do road work for a child. You, you are eating everything. You want a child. The child will never come. You have not confessed. You are not honest. Okay? Let me hear my brother. Me, daddy, I have a problem of smoking. You are a Christian? Yeah, I'm a Christian. What are you doing in the church? Sorry? What are you doing in the church? Which church are you going? I'm going this way. Yeah. yeah. How long? I think it's three years or four years now. Mm. Can you believe that? A Christian, where there's fire, and you are also pulling another fire to your stomach. And many people cannot be like him. Because this is something that once 
you are used to it, devil will always test you by it. I'm sure you hear me now. These are the people that we need to call them out. Let me pray for you. Come. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Ouch! In Jesus' name. As I'm praying for him, I know he, he have to leave wrong friends. You are free. <laughs> Let me get another one. I'm seeing a lady standing up at the back there, but she's not coming here. Can I get? Let me hear you. They did even me a problem of spirit of lust. I've been even when I'm sleeping, I sleep with people, women. I'm very happy for you people who are coming out to be honest with yourself. Even the the, the evil thoughts in uh, in my mind. I've been trying to meditate the way everything, but the fasting is. I have this problem for many years. Let me touch your shoulder. It's the spirit of lust. It's the spirit of lust that one. Come on! Put a mic in his mouth. <laughs> so you can see spirit of lust. Some of you, you go to YouTube. You start watching the things of, of church. You are worshiping. From there, you go to YouTube. YouTube deep down now. You watch pornography. The moment you see something like that, no one is there. Can you be honest with yourself? Why now I'm watching this thing? If I'm a Christian, I'm sure you're hearing me. There are some things that you don't need anybody to judge you. Judge yourself. An honest person in the things of God will always judge himself before he sin. Before he take an action, he will just say, ah, this thing is wrong. But why am I doing this? He will draw. Sorry, Lord. You won't wait for the altar. The, I mean, look here. Same applies to the issue of cigarette. Cigarette, you, you have to put it here first. Here. You put it here like this. Right. Now you take matches. Sure. You do like this. When you do like this, you are making sure that it bends. The wind must not blow. If it blows, it means the wind is helping you to stop. So you cover it like this. And now when you are smoking, what are you saying? Everything, action. Before you fornicate. Look how before you fornicate. Before you fornicate, it's a job. This is a job now. It's as good as you want to eat. You wash your hands. You sit down. You want to eat. All these actions, before you carry them out, tell yourself, no. I, when you are in the process, okay, if I go there, I will do this. I don't go there. Hello, if I answer this call, I'll be surprised I'm there. I don't go there. I'm sure you hear, you hear what I'm trying to say. There are things that you can do them by yourself. I wish we can have that kind of spirit. With me, man of God, I'm addicted to, I have a spirit of lust, I'm addicted to pornography. I have a spirit of masturbation, I'm drinking, I'm smoking. Uh, with me, my life is, is messed up. And every time I come here, I feel like my, when you're preaching here, my, my mind is blocked. I don't know what's happening. I understand. So you come to church here? No, I, I'm from Bochum. I go to Dominion. But you are failing to dominate. Yeah, I'm failing to dominate. You are dominated by this thing. Can you see your skin now? Huh? Look at your skin. And this thing can make you to lose teeth. You, can, yeah. you will lose even this teeth. Because you are right, because every time I feel pain in my teeth, there's no way. If you carry on, you are going to be an old person before time. I want to pray for you. Amen. Lift up your hand. Can you just... 
In Jesus' name. You are free. You people that I'm praying for, this weeks that are coming, you are going to give us testimonies because you won't have desire, okay? The last one. Apostle, I've got a spirit of anger. There are many here. Who have got it's anger. Mm -hmm. Many. And other ones, if they become angry, they don't even eat papa. They do fasting. If they become angry, I'm not going to eat anything. As if you are eating to someone's stomach. Whereas you have to carry on eating, dealing with it. Another thing is what? It's anger and I, I don't, I, I, when I'm angry, I, I, I can curse. It's, I pray for you on the other side. I, I, I wish bad things upon you, but I end up crying. Why have I said those things upon you? So I will pray for you, Mama, and you are preaching the gospel. Think about when you are a pastor, there are these Christians that devil will bring to play you. And you are not called to curse, you are called to, be, to bless. Yes. You see, now when you are a pastor, you must mind your ways. You must never think bad about anyone because Whatever you do, you apply it to that particular person. And you are doing it to yourself too. If you curse your member, you have cursed yourself. Because that member is the one who is supposed to bless you again. Lift up your hands, Mama. I set you free in the name of Jesus. The issue of you is upbringing. The upbringing the way you were grouped up. You were grouped up in a very bad way and you suffer too much. And uh, can you just forgive when I want to pray for you? I'm hearing that you, these people, they even abuse you when you are small. Yeah, the older people were abusing you. Uh, so God loves you as we are praying for you today. God will make you to forget. In Jesus' name. You are free. You are free. Listen, if you want to make it today, can you forgive? Eh? Are you forgiving? I forgive. Eh? Because, I forgive. Because it's like God was showing me when you were small, the way people manipulated you, eh? and then always people beating you up, and there was no one who can say anything, and the way they even molest, molest you. Eh? Yes. There was issue of molestation. Yeah. So it was very tough. But God is with you. He's going to fight for you. God bless you.